Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Shakano here for lesson number two. Okay, so today we're going to talk about, very importantly, choke points. Now choke points, you need to get to know them because in Call of Duty it's very, very important. And can mean getting your kill streaks or not, your score streaks. So let's start off with Combine, right? And let me show you what a choke point is. So you spawn in, you know, everybody rushes out. And they do their thing, you know, there's either the enemies there, there, or on those lanes there, yep. Yeah? So say it's in the middle of the game, and, uh, you know, the enemy is spawning over there. So what a choke point is, is you know, a lot of them, if they're spawning back here, uh, many of them will actually want to come this area and actually want to push through here or here. And now this is a small little tunnel. So they're gonna get choked up inside here. And it's gonna be better for you because look, when they're running, you know, they can't really defend against these head glitches that well, you know, if they're newbies. So you're gonna take advantage of that. You're gonna take advantage of these kind of choke points. So what you need to do, for example, is if you know you're on a streak, yeah, you're one off a streak, two off a streak. And you know they're spawning back here on the radar. You always check your radar from lesson one. Always check it. And you know they're coming through here. You stay here. And you aim down sights. And you wait for them. Don't wait for like five minutes of a person. You know, always make sure you're checking your radar. And you know you're, they're sure they're coming soon, very soon. Like within 10, 15 seconds max, you know. So you stay here. When they're coming around. You, you seeing them coming, you hearing them coming, you shoot. And you'll kill a few. Once you kill the first one, another one's probably right behind him. So you, you check in your radar. I remember in lesson one I told you, after you kill the first person, keep aiming on sides for like one or two seconds after. Because you know someone's going to push right after him a lot of the times. It's going to kill you. That person's going to kill you if you don't check. So you shoot the first person, you keep aiming on sides, just move a little a little bit don't just stay in the same spot after you kill the person just move a little bit like this aim in long sides and look for the second person now if there's more people after the enemy see their friend die they're not not all of them are gonna like rush out like this you know some are just gonna camp like this or wait like this pre-aim so what you need to do instead of staying here you know, you're in a tight spot, you're close to your streak, you're not camping, you're, you know, you're close to your streak, you want to get a few kills. So you, you kill the first two, you, you know there's more going to come wrong, but they know you're in the spot because they check the radar. So what you want to do is just change it up a bit, like get a higher position, like this. And this works like 95% of the times, once you change your position and get to a higher position, you're in an advantage. So you stay here and you shoot the others coming in because they're going to be checking here. And they're gonna be checking here you know they're not gonna expect you on top here you know you're, you're making use you're taking advantage of the game mechanics in this game with the boosters and being able to get to places so that's a that's a common choke point um the other one is if they if you see them war running a lot right so it's a constant war running they're doing the enemy team you can stay right here and just pick them off you know your team's gonna if you're playing with someone else you know your team's gonna say war run and war on means this. So you just pick them off. You know, and you cover the flank of your allies. And it's going to help out a lot. The other choke point is in this map. This one is right here. So you know they're spawning over here. They're either going to come from on top. Here. Or there. And here. You know, so. If you see your allies, you know, running here. You know that it's going to be covered. You know, you're using them to cover you always check the minimap you know don't rely on your allies only you know minimap or radar as I call it so when they spawn here I'm back here a lot of the times they're gonna run out like this just like that so what you're gonna do you're gonna be peeking from here so you peek them just like that you know as lesson one peek so you know it's very very good lesson you know very very good things to know just peek them once you see them run and shoot, yep, and what did I tell you, always 
aim long sights after you kill the first person, aim long sights like one or two seconds after, because you know there's going to be one behind them. And when you do that, immediately, and there's nobody else, immediately check this area, because some could be coming from here. That's if your allies are not uh, in this building already, right? So make sure and check there as well. But don't stay here. I mean, choke points are all well and good, but don't stay there too long, because sooner or later they're going to get you from another area. So don't stay there too long, yeah? So you kill them, you get your two kills to your kill streak, your score streak, and then you move. You come up here, here's another choke point. Peek it. When you know they're coming, just peek it and shoot. Look for two seconds, come back in. You can shoot. That's what you do. That's the choke point so far. Here's another choke point. You stay behind here. They rush in. You shoot them. But you're not gonna stay here for a long time. You know, don't camp. The camping is bad, and you will you will die for that. So don't do it. So just peek it. Shoot one or two people. Snow later they're gonna start throwing grenades and stun. So you don't want to stay there. You know. Here's another choke point, you know, they're gonna push this area. And if they don't if they don't listen to the lessons like lesson one, just run headlessly, you're gonna get easy kills like that. Some of them are gonna pre-aim you. They're gonna aim down sides like this. So what you need to do is, you know, develop your aim, make sure it's on point, and shoot. Manage your recoil and shoot them. Once it's getting too crazy, you leave. And go back to your allies, you know. Don't don't be out there by yourself too long. Don't camp. And here's a very good spot as well, you know. Shoot right here. It's another choke point. So you see, you get an idea what what choke points are, and how you can make use of it. So they all have to. A lot of them come out from here. You shoot them one or two. They're gonna see you on the map after. So don't stick around too long. And then you can shoot. If your aim is good, you can shoot them right here. But make sure and develop your aim first, as I taught you to. And always check your radar. Always check your minimap. That's a, the thing at the top left corner, the small little box. So just keep checking choke points. And um, I'm going to speak about opening rushes as well soon for different types of map that works really well, you know. Here's a choke point as well. So you come in, you come in from this window. And you, you pre-aim here. You never once you once you know they're spawning back here, you don't run like this. You don't do that. Always do what I tell you to do. Aim long sights, peek it. See? So you're gonna peek it like that. And you know they're gonna push you. This is a very good choke point as well. Peek it, shoot them. Shoot. Here's one as well. Shoot. But the main the main choke point is here. So that's it about choke points at the moment. I hope you get the idea and uh, stay tuned for lesson three. All right, speak